was fun talking with Amanda. Here we are back in the magical attic where we can practice drawing some of the things we just saw at the museum. You know, we can start drawing simple shapes at first. We're going to practice drawing one of the planets, Saturn. Oh, I know, Lunar Bunny. It might seem simple because it's just a circle. There are some secrets and drawing hints that we can use and talk about. We're going to practice drawing Saturn right now. Saturn is the planet with the rings around it. Those rings are made up of ice, dust, and rocks. And there's a lot of interesting things that we can learn just in this simple drawing. I like to start drawing in what the style is called freehand. See? I'm just sketching lightly. Just sketching a circle out very lightly with a free hand. And we just sketch away and rough it out. This is good practice because it loosens your arm up and gets you drawing loosely. So that's good. But you know, another thing you can do is use what's called a template. Use another round object, like a paper cup. Like I can put the paper cup right down here on the drawing and just trace around it. Just like that. And there's another planet right next to Saturn. So we're going to take this nice circle that we just drew and we'll add one of the rings of Saturn right around it. As I said, these rings are made up of ice and dust and rocks. And then to make it dimensional, we'll put another line just like this next to it, running parallel to that line. See? Then this is where our eraser comes in. We would erase these lines just like that. Here, we're going to draw right here the sun. And again, we're just sketching away with a circle. Because the sun is round, just like we were talking to Amanda about. And then we'll add some nice pointed lines, just like that, to show the brightness of it. And now, Lunar Bunny, here's one of the drawing hints we were going to talk about. Let's talk about shading an object, like right here. The planet is a circle or a sphere, like a ball. The light source is coming from the sun in this direction. So that would mean this part of the circle would be lighter than this part. Well, let's show that. We're going to add some shading just like this. And see? By turning the pencil sideways, we can add the shading to make it look dimensional. As though the light is coming from this direction. Now here is where using our artistic mind comes in handy. Because we're curving our line here. We're curving the shading to follow the form of the object we're drawing. And you know what else, Lunar Bunny? As you go down here, further away from the light source, it would be even darker. So now we begin to bear down with our pencil a little bit and make it a little bit darker. And you, you can use your finger and smudge it and smooth it out. And there, maybe you add just a little bit more shading right up there to give it even a more feeling of dimension. And now, here's where our eraser comes in handy again. We erase where the ring is. Using the pencil lines of the ring that we drew before, we can now erase near those lines, and the eraser gives it a nice rough feeling, just like the real planet. 
with all the rocks and the ice. See, it's not exactly perfect lines, and that makes it even more real because it has a nice rough feeling to it. That was good practice and a fun exercise. You can do this with any object, like leaves or trees, anything that comes to mind. Just keep practicing and having fun with it. And don't be afraid of making a mistake. There are no mistakes. That's why we have erasers. Let's use the magical attic to get back to the museum to talk with Amanda about outer space some more. Let's go.